people of Jesus' time lived in a spirit-filled world. They explained all kinds of phenomena as the operations of unseen spirits. In our largely scientific era, we explain many of the demons confronted by Jesus in terms of physical or mental illnesses. Today's gospel, however, presents a demon that still exists in our world. It shouts, what have you to do with us? Whenever we divide ourselves into group and we decide that our group is superior to the others, we feed that demon. In our current moment, the demon is winning. Too many of us devote more energy to figuratively demonizing the others than working for the common good. When we conclude that people we don't know have nothing to do with us, the consequences can include spreading misinformation, contracting viruses, and endangering our government. How can we, like Jesus, rebuke this insidious, divisive spirit? Let's begin by thinking about our words. Let us no longer tell jokes based on stereotypes about race, ethnicity, nationality, political beliefs, religious denomination, or even hair color. We are one body in Christ. Creating factions has no obvious benefit. Let us build bridges within the kingdom of God instead.